Hello YouTube and welcome to Gaming Stuff and today I will be giving my thoughts on the PS4.5 or the PS4 Neo. Now I know I'm kind of late on this topic but I just wanted to give my opinion on this. Uh, a lot of people are kind of disappointed about this or they want some, they, they still don't know much about it and want some answers so here are my thoughts on it. So basically um, game publishers have been uh, telling the public that Sony has a uh, told them about this new PS4 that they're working on. It's not it's not a new console, it's just an upgraded version of the PS4 where basically it can support up support 4K video, uh, a it will have a better CPU and RAM. And I believe that's pretty much it. But Sony hasn't really addressed this rumor. I mean, uh, it could still be false, but the people who have been saying it, you know, they're, you know, high profile uh, publishers, so they're pretty much telling the truth. I mean, unless they're just, you know, trolling us, but uh, Sony hasn't really been saying anything about this, about the new PS4, or uh, PS4 ne Neo, as they've been calling it. And I don't feel like they're gonna, you know, announce the PS4.5 or Neo until probably E3. Maybe they're gonna have, like, a big reveal. That way, as m many people could, like, it'll probably be, like, the biggest story of E3 for Sony, so they wanna get, like, many people, a lot of people to get hyped for it, maybe. But at the same time, there's a lot of people who have, like, questions or doubts about this. I mean, uh, First off, like, what about like the 30 million, you know, something players who already bought the PS4? What about them? Are they gonna have like a way you could um, upgrade your PS4? Maybe go to the store, buy like a part, put it into your PS4, and then you know, s you know, suddenly supports you know 4K video, has a bigger CPU and RAM. Are they, gonna, are they gonna have that, or they could also have like a you could buy a flash drive, you know, install it to your PS4 and then download like a new, new, uh, you know software or something i don't know i don't know how it works but how they're gonna do it i mean what about like the 30 million people who already invested money into the ps4 and uh suddenly a new version comes out like what about the people who just bought a ps4 during christmas and they thought it was gonna be like the newest you know version of the ps4 and then suddenly a ps4.5 comes out i mean what about them like i want to be able to do that i mean i'm thinking about buying a 4k um P uh, tv this fall and i want to you know play you know games on, my, on the TV and I want it to look good so there are some doubts um, with the people or players about this because um, they might feel a bit betrayed because uh, they just bought this PS4 and they could have been they could have saved their money for a new PS4.5 I mean uh, probably they want they probably want the newest you know version of this console but hopefully uh, hopefully so Sony is smart enough I don't think they're they're dumb enough to uh, not have like a way to upgrade your current PS4 because that will you know, piss a lot of people up, people off. I mean, that'd be like a big F you to the to their fan base. But I'm pretty sure that they're uh, smart enough to like you know have a have it so you could go to the store and buy like this part and you know connect it to your PS4 and then you know turn it into a PS4.5. But but this thing could be really good in, in many reasons. First off, um, it's like the first time us console players are able to upgrade our PS our consoles I mean PC has been always been able to upgrade their um, their uh, you know their PC so that they could like have a um, 10 year old PC and still play like the new current games have like the you know the current graphics and all that so uh, that's good I mean that's gonna be able that's gonna uh, let uh, consoles have a longer uh, lifespan so, so instead of lasting like maybe six years for the PS4 because technology is advancing really really fast it could probably last up to eight years, maybe nine years. That's too. That's too much, I think. But it could last up maybe seven or eight years. So it's, a, it's like a mini boost for the or the the consoles. It won't be like um. I believe it. It won't probably. It won't probably be like uh for PC to keep upgrading, upgrading, upgrading. It just probably be like a mini upgrade for like um you know like mid uh like the mid uh generation, just like a mini boost to help that help that out. Which uh, it's a good thing. That way, uh, games will look better and better. Uh, that way, um, you know, games will look more amazing. Uh, the PS4 have more potential, so that's actually really good. And it's also good for competition. I mean, because the PC already it's already way better than the PS4 right now, or the Xbox One. I mean, they already got you know things way better. Their CPU is way better. Their uh, capture guards are way better than the PS4s. So. It, with the PS4.5, it can actually stay competitive with PC, which is really, really, really good for competition. And uh, it's good. That's good. But there's still a lot of doubts. I mean, people don't know how it's going to work. But I believe that they're probably going to reveal this during E3. 
Um, and they hopefully they do it right. Hopefully they don't they don't you know piss off a lot of people off. And so and, and hopefully something won't get like a bad repetition because of this. I know Xbox is doing something similar. Uh, I think they have confirmed that they're gonna be able to allow Xbox One users to upgrade their their Xbox by um, buying like this part and then connecting connecting it to their Xbox Ones and making it stronger. Uh, I believe I heard that somewhere. I don't know, probably in an online article. But for PS4, they still haven't announced it. They have it's still rumors right now. They still haven't announced it, but there's still there's still no. Um, we still haven't heard any methods of how this is gonna work, but hopefully you know Sony pro oh, Sony um, pulls the right moves and uh, turns into turns into a success for them because I I do want to have um, 4K um, video on my PS4. I want to have a bigger CPU, a better RAM, to be able to have better games because uh, like imagine right now Black Ops 3 could look way better than this. I mean Black Ops 3 looks fantastic if you have if you have a nice TV and it would look it would looks nice and um, they're making it easy for developers to actually upgrade the PS to upgrade their uh, graphics for the games. I mean, they just said said just uh, developers could like um, give out like a, a simple patch or uh, or upgrade, and then all of a sudden you have like a new uh, new game. Basically, I mean, way better graphics, which is really cool. I want to be able to like do that. I mean, because I like playing, you know, I like playing my PS4, and I want to have a better graphics. And now I think it's actually a good idea. But hopefully, they don't, you know make it bad I mean hopefully they don't piss off a lot of people but anyways that's my thoughts on the PS4.5 uh, I don't feel like they're gonna announce it right now maybe until E3 so like you know people get hyped for it and hopefully they pull off the right moves but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video on my thoughts on the PS4.5 and thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video and peace